Bye, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai. 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 Call Halam La Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai. Bahashim Racha Kodash Barakatham. The Manus of my Apostles, the Great Millstone, and salutations to the Akim on the four corners, pushing his truth in sincerity, love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. This is Itazawan coming back with another GMS for the knowledge. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai be the name of the only begotten Son. Okay? Yahweh in the Hebrew, what is known as the Lashawan Kodash. Lashawan meaning language, Kodash meaning holy. So the holy language or the holy tongue. The Heavenly Father name means he exists or he is. Okay? Yahweh. Yahweh means he exists or he is. And the only begotten son, who the world English calls J E S U S or Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Those are the names you want to call upon these last days for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the parables, the mysteries, the dark sayings of this book. All right? And once the Holy Spirit sells with you and gives you the understanding of what's to come, you want to pray and hope that you are delivered. You want to pray to the Heavenly Father and His Son for deliverance in these last days. So once again, the names are very important. Do not listen to these false prophets, these false teachers, these false leaders out here who says the names are not important or we don't have the name. We have the name on this side and that name is going to carry us, the hopeful elect, all right, to the kingdom of heaven. The scripture says there's no other name under heaven wherein we may be saved. Okay. So no further ado, I want to get into this lesson. Um... I believe Elder Karataza uh, from, from 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 Vegas. I believe he posted this last night. You know, um, I'm not gonna play it, but I am gonna read the, the 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 title of it or the summary of what this is about. You had a, a, a I believe like a, a ten man panel on X or Twitter. You know, I didn't see the whole thing. Because uh, there's another video of it I believe it's another video of it But we're just going to stick with this one right here As you can read Candace Owens you, We all know who that is She's getting at the, the you wish people You know A lot of people are starting to uh, Now it's, it's twofold Okay It's twofold There are people The world is getting tired of these these rats and they're being revealed and exposed because they are the hated. Okay? Even if there's even um, tribes of Edom who don't like the you wish people. Okay? The small hats, the 1948ers over there. Alright? And and everyone is revealing the secrets because this is the end. But then you do have another side to this. Okay, through order ab KO, okay. Um, agendas, uh, controlled oppositions as well. So is Candace Owens, a, Candace Owens is a controlled opposition? I personally believe she is. She was on the panel with Andrew Tate. And we know that he's a controlled opposition. Okay. But it's interesting. Alright. The movie is is getting good. So. <clears throat> we're going to see what's going to happen with, with these so-called truthers. These people who want to so-called reveal. Uh, 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 and expose the elites. All right, because we've been doing this. We've been exposing the elites, beginning with our apostles on down. All right, our apostles, elder bishops on down, exposing the elites and coming up against them through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Okay. But um, what we've been witnessing lately within the last few years, that there's celebrities, politicians, all right, um, people that have made a name for themselves through the new age of um, the new age of information right who have made a name for themselves like Andrew Tate they have started to come up against where well, they get a platform right get all the views popularity and they begin to come up against the small hats 
Okay, this is a thing that they are coming up against the small hats now. You know, which I believe is a part of the protocols of the Learn Elders of Zion. Um, that they have their agents, their clerks, who are controlled and pinpointed to come up against them. Okay, for the for 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 their own um, plan. You see, which that ultimate plan is going to be taking away the freedom of speech and, and intensifying um, hate crimes. You know, hate speech crimes, which is going to bring in Big Brother to um, find you imprison you all right and ultimately it's going to come to a point where if you speak up against the government and it's a plans and it's agendas you may be put to death you see so i said enough let's get into this lesson i'm gonna i'm gonna read this then i'm gonna show some uh some articles and documents that you know that kind of that really supports what she's saying though that's the point you know Supporting what she's saying is Candace Owens right concerning the you wish people? Yeah, she is right. They're not the chosen people of Yahweh Bashimel Shai. All right, the true Jews are the blacks, Haitians, and Native. Uh, I'm sorry, the blacks, Haitians, uh, the so-called black man in America, the so-called Haitian man, and the so-called uh, a West Indian man. That makes up the Southern Kingdom, which they were known as the Jews. Okay, Mordecai was known. Was, was was named a, a, a Jew And he was from the tribe of Benjamin Okay the so called blacks is the Judah right The so called West Indians is the Benjamites And the so called Haitians are the Levites Those were the, the Jews Of the uh, in the ancient world man Okay Um I believe Abed Nasir He was the Egypt The Egypt uh, 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 President he even said himself Let's get that real quick um, uh, Alright I will take this out Doing some studying on this But um Let's go to Close out on that. Um, the Egyptian king, I can't remember his name. And this is what he said concerning the matter. Here we go. This is um, Gamal Ab Ab Abdel Nasir. Okay, I was kind of right. But he said, um, the war for Israel, and this is, what year is this? Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Abed, uh, Gamal Abed Nasir, second president of the, the United Arab Republic, formerly president of the Republic of Egypt. And this is what he said. He said, the Europeans claiming to be Jews are nothing more than Hebrew-speaking Gentiles. The late president of Egypt, Gamal Abed Nasir, stated on television, you, on television, you, the Jews, will never be able to live here in peace because you left black but came back white. We cannot accept you. This is 1952, okay? So the world knows that those are not the true people of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Those are not the real chosen, okay? Those are not the real chosen people, man. All right, so check this out what Candace says or the summary of um, the topic. Candace Owens breaks the internet by claiming the Zionists are not the original Jews, but are actually demon worshippers. Yeah, they are demon worshippers. They follow after the Talmud. They don't follow after the Tanakh, the Torah, the scriptures. In fact, when you go on YouTube, type in, do, do, do the you wish people accept Jesus Christ, you know? 
Just type that in. Do they accept the Lord? Do they accept the Messiah? And you're going to find out that they don't even believe in the Messiah. So how are those the, 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 the true people? You know, they don't even believe. They believe that he was just a prophet. I believe it. They believe that he was just a... Well, I, I've heard some of them say, well, he was just a prophet. He wasn't nobody. But then there's other ones who say that the story was fabricated. So they don't even, they don't even believe in the Lord. So how are those the people? You know? They go after the Talmud. And in the Talmud, they, they tell you that you can have sex with a boy. With, with, a, with a child. Yeah, you can't have sex with a man, but you can have sex with a child. Okay? So she says, she goes on to say that modern day Israel, founded by the Rothschilds, have become a safe haven for pedophiles. You see? So she was getting at their head, man. You know? Which, in all actuality, she's right. But I believe that it's control opposition to bring in more um, laws. If I'm not mistaken, I should have kind of took more time to look it up, but I didn't. But I believe in the beginning of this year, I believe in the beginning of this year, 2024, that they passed some type of law or some type of bill on uh, fines and penalties for coming up against the small hatters. That whole anti-sim. Okay? Because remember, they had Kanye West. They had Irving. Uh, 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 what's the dude named? Kyrie. They had Kyrie. They had Kanye. Alright? They had certain other celebrities throughout the year speak out against the small hatters. Okay? Saying that those are not the true people. You know? Which, now check this out. Let's go to this. And this is the Israeli woman, right? Well, she says she's the daughter of Jethro. Remember, Jethro was the 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 the, the father of um was the uh, the father-in-law of Moses. Okay. Now, this is what this woman says. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure bros have seen this before, but I'm gonna play it. All right. The world knows. The nations know that those are not the true people. So it was Candace Owens right? Yeah, she was right. You know? Now you have those conservatives. They're trying to get her banned off of uh, <laughs> X or Twitter. You know? But that's the point. That's why through the spirit, I believe this is part of the protocols, which I have my book. And I'm going I'm to I'm get to that after I, you know, show some, you know, show some, um, show what I'm going to show and add some precepts or whatever. But um, the world knows that these are not the chosen people. Okay? The world knows this. But, you know, Esau is going to... This is a part of him going to come down with great wrath, which is with, through his loss. All right? He's going to come down harsh. You know? You won't be able to speak out against this devil. And that's the part of, the, uh, a part of their agenda. You know? But now check out what this woman says. Now we we seen a a bed, Gamal a bed Nasir, right? Now check someone who's out there living in that in that in that area as well. Hi, shalom, shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people, people that were stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are, but you are the children of Yahweh. Of Yahweh. The children of Israel. I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem. Because, because as the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because, because you are our, our Savior. You the one that was chosen by Yahweh. By Yahweh. To live in this land, not the Jewish land, people, the Jewish it's, people. You. it's you. You were stolen from, from Africa, they deceived you, they told you that you are slaves, but you actually the children of Israel. And it's time just to come. Come back. Come back. Come for Come your people, for your people. For us, come back for the whole Gentiles. Only you. Only you. Only you gonna save us. Only you gonna save us. So please come back. So please come back to that. Say, please come back to Zion. You see? So the truth is out. 
All right, there's no more hiding the truth. All right, I believe in second measures. You know what? No, not second measures, but let me find it. Well, let me read this first because I put this on deck just for that video. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Okay, so the righteous are not in authority. She said that the Gentiles need us. <laughs> okay. So even the Gentiles are going to be in a happier place when the true when the true Israelites, the true Jews, all right, through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, bring it back to captivity of Israel when when the Lord places back in that land, not through these um, Elias that was funded by the Rothschilds. You see, that's why the, the, that's why over there there's no peace. The people, the, the whole world is mourning because the wicked is in rulership. The earth is given in the hand of the wicked. Right? Who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, beginning with Amalek, the first of the nations. And this is why a lot of smoke men coming towards these people. You know? Now, there, now, now there's people who's fed up with these devils, right? And then there are agents and, and, and clerks and, you know, uh, 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 um, spies, you know, that is uh, ha has an agenda to bring forth harsh laws. You see? Alright? So, what was I finna get? Oh, truth so without fruit. Truth so long without fruit. Truth with Oh, wow. I didn't know I can do that. <laughs> Truth, that's that's pretty cool. Had this phone for damn near six months, and I never knew I could do that. Truth uh, with so long without fruit. I believe it's in Ezra's second Ezra, if I'm not mistaken. Bingo. So this is second Ezra six and twenty eight. As as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall shall be overcome, and the truth. Which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. You see? So the truth is being declared right now on who the true people are, man. So once again, was and was it was can oh oh praise the Abashana Shai. 441, I see it on the car. A license plate. But um was 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 um Candace Owens right about the Jewish people? Yeah, she was. She was right. And then this is why the truth is coming out on it. Now let's read this thing. Let's read this uh, headliner. She goes on to say the modern day Israel, funded by the Rothschilds, have become a safe haven for pedophiles, and it's already well known through the Talmud that it, that they say that you can have sex with a child, not just not a man. It's already documented and videos, right, that they circumcise the children with their mouth. They put their mouth on uh, uh, 4141. They go that those special numbers, 144. They put their mouth on the penis of a, of a fucking child, man. Those sick ass people, the you wish people, the sick you wish people. Okay? Now, let's prove that the Rothschild actually had a part of funding. Now, you have something called the Elias, which I've, I've brought this out many times before. All right, this is for the new the new members, new brothers and sisters. If you don't know, now you know. So Aaliyah bet, okay, and I believe Aaliyah means to be uplifted. I can look it up, but you can you can you can do it yourself too. I believe it means to be on high or exalted. You know, it says uh, hold on, give me a second. Okay, there we go. I'm just trying to exit out of this shit. Okay, it says immigration to Israel, immigration to Israel, all right, we can stop right there real quick, uh, what, what, what is uh, immigration, check this out, so this is from the Etamon, it says immigrant, to pass into a place as a new inhabitant or resident, especially to move to a country where one is not a native, okay? For the purpose of settling permanently there. Boom. 
people who are not natives to the land. They are not natives to the land of Israel, man. Okay? This is um, Zechariah 9 and 6. All right? It says, And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Okay? So a bastard is in Ashdod. Okay? Who's in Ashdod? Where is Ashdod? Ashdod is in Israel. Look it up. All right? I ain't going to... You know, you got to study to show that self approved Look up where Ashdod is at. Okay? We had to do it. All right? Now, you new brothers and sisters, you got to do it. Look it up. Look up where Ashdod is. This is how you learn. A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Okay? And who is that bastard? That uh, illegitimate or illegal person. All right? Who is that? Those immigrants that uh, that 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 was uh, funded by the Rothschilds to go over there. Okay. Once again, to move to a country where one is not a native, that's not their homeland. Now let's go back to the Leah. Immigration to Israel. It says during World War II. The Aliyah immigration effort focused on rescuing Jews from Nazi occupied from Nazi occupied Europe. Some or oilium entered the country on the on the visas issued under the white paper. Uh, the white paper uh, quota. The majority came as illegal immigrants. Now, let's go back to uh, Bastard. If I'm not mistaken, it says illegal. There we go. A bastard, a child of incest, illegitimate. Bastard, mixed population, born of... Okay... Bastard. Let's look up bastard. I I, I could have sworn I seen somewhere it says uh um web search. There we go. Unpleasant or despicable person? Yeah. Villain. Brute. Yeah, that's Esau. That's those you wish people. For sure. Let me park real quick. Okay, let's see if I can find it though. Of a thing no longer in pure or, or original form. Debased. Let me see. A person of spe spe uh, specified kind. A difficult or awkward undertaking. Uh, of a thing, uh, blah blah. That's fine, that's fine. We ain't gotta go too deep. But I, I thought I seen uh, illegal once upon a time, or maybe it was illegitimate. You know what? Hold on, let's see what illegitimate means. Here we go. See, I knew I knew I seen uh, uh, illegal. It says not authorized by the law. Not in accordance with accepted standard or rules. Illegal. There's this, uh, 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 um, the sim similar or the synonym for it. Illegal, unlawful, illicit, criminal. You got criminals in the, in the land of Israel right now. Okay? Against the law. Unauthorized. Yeah, yeah. How about Shemel Shai didn't authorize you devils to go over there? Now, ultimately, through prophecy, you know, we understand. All right? But th that's the land of the Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? So you guys are illegal. A bastard. A illegitimate. Alright? Someone who's, who don't, who don't supposed to be there. Okay? And this is off y'all definitions. This is off of y'all book work. Okay? Because this is the Jewish library. Alright? So, they called them, uh, came as illegal immigrants... The immigration called Aliyah Bet arrived by the land and by sea from Europe in the Middle East and con 
contravention of the British mandatory government's order. Okay? So they flew illegal people over there, overland about 9,000 Jews, uh, uh, 1,300, uh, 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 over 1,300 uh, Syrian Jews. All right, they were airlifted. I'm just, I'm just skimming. Y'all can read it yourself. Uh, 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 JewishLibrary.org. Uh, type it in and put in Aliyah. In total, it is estimated that between 1939 and 1949, approximately 110,000 Jewish immigrants have participated in Aliyah bet by sailing to the territory of the British Mandate. So these are illegal people. They're not supposed to be in that land. It was prophecy, of course, all right? It's prophecy that they, they were going to be there, which I'm going to get, which we already got, a bastard of Dwell and Ashdod. Okay, let me get back to the lesson. Salaki, I had an incoming call. Um, I'm definitely going to have to edit that out. But, um... Immigration to Israel, Aliyah Bet. Let's go to... Table of Contents. Okay, it's the second Aaliyah, right? So we're at the second Aaliyah. Now I just want to get to the point because when you go I'm gonna just start from. I'm gonna just start at the top. It said the second Aaliyah in the wake of of pogroms and Tsarist Russia and the ensuing eruption of anti-Semitism. Excuse me. Had a profound impact on the comp, um, complexion and development of modern Jewish settlement in Palestine. Most of his members were young people inspired by socialist ideals. Many models and components of the royal settlement enterprise came into, came into being at this time, such as the national farms where royal settlers were trained. The first Kabbats de Jainia and Hashemar the first Jewish self-defense organization in Palestine, the Atz, the Atzat Bayat, Bayat neighborhood established as a suburb, Jeffa, developed into Tel Aviv, the modern, the modern all Jewish city. So the first city that they had developed was Tel Aviv. The Hebrew language was received as a spoken tongue in Hebrew. Literature and Hebrew newspapers were published. Political parties were, fun, were founded, and workers' agricultural organizations began to form. These pioneers laid the foundations that were to be that that were to that were to put the yes the yes of the Jewish community on its course toward an independent state. So basically, this is dealing with the building up of the uh, of, of of Israel, okay, and the first. Establishment or the city that they first um, settled in to build up was Tel Aviv. And we're going to learn about Tel Aviv. Okay? Man, where is it at? Salaki, so I'm sorry. Give me a second because that wasn't what I wanted. Tel Aviv is what I wanted. But I'm trying to get to the point where it spoke about the Aaliyahs. I mean, about um, Edmund D. Rothschild. Here we go. I, I, I passed it up, so I'm sorry. The first Aaliyah settlers encountered many difficulties, including an inclement 
uh, in inclement climate disease, crippling Turkish taxation and Arab opposition. They required assistance and received scanty aid from Hizbat Zion and more substantial aid from Baron Edmund D. Rothschild. He provided the Majavat with his uh, uh, patronage and the settlers were economic assistance, thereby averting the collapse of the settlement enterprise. The Yemenite Oyum, which is Goyim, right? It's supposed to go back to um, Gentiles, most of whom settled in Jerusalem, were first employed as a construction workers and later in this uh, in the citrus plantations of Mesvat. Okay. So the point is that you had Edmund D. R Baron Edmund D. Ruffchild. All right. Ed, uh, Edmund James D. Ruffchild. Okay. Baron Abraham Edmund Benjamin James D. Ruffchild <laughs> was a French member of the Ruffchild banking family. He is the one who funded them. All right. Let's go back. He is the funder, right, of getting that getting that particular place established. All right, starting from right here, I'm gonna read it over. The first Aliyah settlers encountered many difficulties, including an inclement, uh, inclement climate. Disease crippling ta Turkish taxation and Arab opposition. Yep, because they was fighting over there. This is why uh, Gamal Abed Nasir said it will never be peace over here. They're not accepted because they left black and came back white. They were requ they required assistance and received scant scanty aid from uh, Hibat or Hibat Zion and more substantial aid from Baron Edmund D Rothschild. Okay, this is what Candace Owens is saying. Candace Owens broke the internet by claiming the Zionists are not the original Jews, but are actual demon worshippers. She goes on to say, maybe I shouldn't have read that. <laughs> oh well. She goes on to say the modern day Israel founded, funded, founded, I'm sorry, founded by the Rothschilds have has become a safe haven for pedophiles. Okay. Now let's go back. Let's get about Tel Aviv. Uh I want to go back up real quick. Cause she mentioned Okay, the second Aliyah is where they brought out about the Tel Aviv, 1904 to 1914. Yep, here we go. The odds, the Odzat Bayat neighborhood established as a suburb of Jeffa developed into Tel Aviv. Okay, now Tel Aviv is known as Pink City. See, it could be uh, Tel Aviv, Pink City. It can be city without a break, mostly in Hebrew, blah, 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 because of a vibrant lifestyle. I guess the pink city term is more of an LGBTQ community slang because of the widespread atmosphere of full acceptance for its members in Tel Aviv. You see, they call Tel Aviv pink city. Okay. Pink city. All right. Because it's it's it's, it's uh, <laughs> it got a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of um, booty bandits over there, all right. A lot of wickedness over there, man. All right, look at this. I ain't gonna click on none of them just in case. All right, gay capital, Tel Aviv, gay capital, Tel Aviv, Israel. You see that? This shit is out of this is out of order, man. You see, but a bastard shall dwell in ash. That an illegitimate, an illegal, a base, right? 
base man, men and women, living over there, man. So is Candace Owens right? Yes, she was right. Okay? You have the, the, the you wish people, they're, they're uh, uh, in control of the Mambola, Man Boy Lover Association. Okay? A bunch of freaks. All right? <laughs> so regardless if this is control opposition, um, with 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 uh, uh, Candace Owens, it's still bringing out the truth. You see, the truth is still coming out. Now, real quick, I want to read. And I'm going to close on out. I'm going to read from um, my book. Y'all can see it, right? This is on page 27. This is, um, oh, my bad. I didn't even tell the name of it. The Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. Okay? So we're going to read on page 27. We're going to read the third paragraph. It says, as a matter of fact, we have already destroyed all ruling powers except our own. But in theory, they still exist. At the present time, if any governments make themselves objectionable to us, it is only a formality in undertaking with our full knowledge and consent. Because you got to remember, the nations, they all, back at the end of the day, they're working hand in hand with one another. You see? The nations are working one hand. They're working hand in hand with one another, man. Okay, it's a it's a game. You see, Putin is in in, in the league with the new world order. All right, the elites, the the, the, the you wish people are in league with the new world order. Russia, uh, uh, China, China, <laughs> how uh, Trump say it. All right, is in league with the new world order. All the nations are are setting up the stage so they can get to the new world order okay so all the nations are are, 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 are on board with it is that it's Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to throw in that monkey wrench okay but it says as a matter of fact we have have already destroyed fuck oh Elder Ayash It says, as a matter of fact, we have already destroyed all ruling powers. Damn. I'm going to wait till it stop ringing. God damn. As a matter of fact, we have already destroyed all ruling powers except our own, but in theory they still exist. At, at the present time, if any governments make themselves object, objectionable to us, it is, only for, for, it is only a formality in undertaking with our full knowledge and consent as we need their anti-Semitic outburst in order to enable us to keep our small brothers in order. I will not enlarge upon this point. For it has already formed the subject of many discussions. So the point is, man, they're setting up the stage, okay, to bring in uh, 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 anti-SIM laws, anti-SIM uh, 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 penalties, fines, crimes, hate speech, etc. All right, it's twofold. This devil has set set that stage up on that on that side, and then there are people who who's tired of these devils too, and they're speaking up. You see, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, you know, kind of touch on this topic, you know, about what you know about the headlining of this. And this is on X, uh, the handler of Shadow of Ezra, okay, which is a pretty good um page. I'm subscribed to this page. They, you know, they have you know inf inf information and things like that, or whatever. Um, so yeah, man, you know, uh, the Rothschilds funded. The voyage, the uh, the voyage or the Elias for those uh, 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 false people who are not the chosen 
to, to, to uh, be, be airlifted over there, man. You see? The scripture says in uh, I believe Isaiah 14, Jeremiah 30. Go read it. All right? I ain't going to read it. I'm about to get ready to close out. Isaiah, the 14th chapter, first and second verse. J J Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, first and second verse. The Lord will bring again the captivity of Jerusalem and Israel. And bring them to their land. You see? The Lord is going to do it. Not us. The Lord is going to do it. Not no plane. Not no airlifted plane. Not no secret, op op secret operation called Operation Magic Carpet. Okay? So, with that... Lord willing, it's edifying. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem El Shai, by Hashem Kakadas Brakat Thumb. Don't want to see my apostle great millstone aside. Takes it, I keep the four coins, pushing the truth with sincerity, love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. Shalom and the Baba Ball.